tell you, she has been doing this for 40 years. Backed by New Orleans' most experienced storm team. Well, we've got snowballs in the forecast. Without a doubt, if you grew up in southeast Louisiana. And we check it out with Margaret, and then we plan our day. You also grew up with WDSU First Warning Weather Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr. For 75 incredible years, you have invited us into your homes, making us a part of your daily routine. And 45 of those years include Margaret. Her expertise, dedication, and passion for meteorology are beyond legendary. Margaret saved our lives. <laughs> she did. Basically, she did. From her pink wigs to her signature red locks and even her own fan club, Margaret has left an indelible mark in the community that goes beyond the green screen. Join us now as we take a trip down memory lane, celebrating Margaret Orr and 45 years of excellence. Woo, listen y'all, all week <laughs> long, all week long, we have been celebrating all things WDSU Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr. Yeah, and tomorrow she wraps up a legendary and trailblazing career here at WDSU and Southeast Louisiana. She will join us in just a moment, but first. Yeah, for 45 years, she has been keeping all of us safe and informed from day-to-day -day weather to also life-threatening emergencies. She has done it all and she has no doubt done it very well. We began with a look at Margaret's life-saving moments from weather events over the last four decades. Oh, wait, wait, I see a tornado. In recent years. There it is. When weather emergencies happen, Margaret Orr is the one to watch to keep you informed and safe. It happened in March of 2022 when an EF3 tornado touched down in Araby. Margaret saved, pe saved people's lives. We got it. Um, this is a tornado. And again, later that same year, when another tornado hit, impacting numerous parishes, people listened to Margaret. Margaret, oh, I want to thank you for saving my life yesterday. This is Araby. <sighs> and that's what she's done. Keep you safe when weather threatens. And she's done so for four decades. Let me show you the forecast track from the Hurricane Center. Let's go back, way back, to the late 1970s, long before Margaret Orr was the chief meteorologist at WDSU. The LSU grad started at the station in her hometown as a reporter in 1979. I watched it from the time she was a news reporter. Hall of Fame investigative journalist Richard Angelico says he knew early on Margaret had it. She was on the street showing up at news conferences as a, as a young reporter, you know, and then she made the transition to weather, and, uh, and that was her forte, you know, that was what she was meant to do. Margaret always had an interest in the weather after living through hurricanes Betsy and Camille as a child. While working at WDSU, she eventually earned her meteorology degree from Mississippi State University. Dan Milham, DSU. Joining then Chief Meteorologist Dan Milham as part of the station's weather team in the mid 1980s. And I haven't seen anyone that impresses me as much with their uh, their emotion and enthusiasm as Margaret does. Dan and Margaret worked together for 31 years until he retired in late 2008, covering events like Hurricane Andrew in 1992 the May 1995 flood in the city of New Orleans, Hurricane George's in 1998, Hurricane Ivan in 2004, and hundreds of other rain, heat, and ice events across the state. I was so impressed always with her concern about the welfare of her audience. And it is firing off some showers and thunderstorms. Also on that weather crew through the 1980s and 90s, Steve Bellis, who worked with Margaret for 22 years. She's probably one of the most versatile people I've ever known in broadcasting. And one thing stood out to both men, Margaret's professionalism and courage under fire. When conditions got bad, she was always at her best. Yeah, that's when you earn your money. I mean, day-to-day -day forecasting, that's fine. And, um, but when breaking weather happens, uh, you, it's, it's a matter of let's come together. She's motivated by her desire to give her viewers that useful, important information. And getting people that important information took on new meaning in August of 2005. That's when a monster hurricane named Katrina 
set its sights on Louisiana. It's a Category 5. Longtime WDSU anchor Norman Robinson on the desk as the storm approached. Because we were wondering if this was the one that we'd been dreading for all these years. It was, but Margaret stood tall. She never lost her focus. She never, ever lost her focus. And it was during Hurricane Katrina that Margaret consistently told people, bring an ax to your attic. She heard it as a young girl, telling people that if you have to go high to get out of the flood water, bring an ax to cut your way out. It's a phrase she still uses today. Ax in the attic, bring the ax in the attic. And that saved a lot of people's lives. And there are people today who talk about the fact that they heard that expression, taking the ax to the attic. And that's what helped them get rescued. In the years since Hurricane Katrina, Margaret has played a pivotal role in major storms like Hurricanes Gustav and Ike in 2008. And there are the rain bands. Hurricane Isaac in 2012, when areas like Laplace and Braithwaite took on water. It's a tornado right on top of New Orleans East. She was the first on air telling people to take shelter when a tornado touched down in New Orleans East in 2017. The surge could penetrate 40 miles. That's all I had to say. And on the ground in Lake Charles after Hurricane Laura devastated that part of the state. I expect that you're going to get a 100 mile per hour wind pretty shortly. And she was right here, keeping you informed for Hurricane Ida in 2021, the worst storm to hit this area since Katrina. Her former colleagues here at WDSU, who all still live in the area, all watching, trusting, just like you have for four decades. Margaret Orr, meteorologist. That's who she is. I mean, that is Margaret Orr. She sleeps weather. She eats weather. She breathes weather. She perhaps dreams about weather. That is her mission in life. That is her calling. And we're all much safer for it. All right, joining us now, the woman of the evening herself, WDSU Chief Meteorologist, Margaret Orr. And Margaret, the question that's on everybody's minds this evening is, really, how does this moment feel to you, this culmination of 45 years going to just 24 hours? Well, uh, Trafford's taking me back to all of those events. I'm, I'm a little stressed. I mean, I'm reliving the moments. I remember Katrina so well. Um, I mean, we were here. And I actually went to my news director, Anzio Williams, and I said, Anzio, what's the plan? Where are we going to go? And he said, well, we're going to go to the antenna in Chalmette. And I went, Anzio, it may be under 20 feet of water. And he turned around and walked away. But somebody had offered me a room at the Hilton. And so I called and asked, is that room still available? So that's where we ended up going. And, it, you know, it was great staying there. They took in people's dogs and, you know, of course there was flooding and, and all of that, but um, it was a great experience being there because also Sheriff Harry Lee's birthday party mm -hmm. was supposed to take place at the Hilton, so they had an incredible spread of food <laughs> <laughs> and we were well fed. They had Bunsen burners and that's how they cooked it because, you know, there was no electricity. Mm -hmm. That's what I remember about Katrina. And again, so many people watching you from storm to storm to storm and, uh, you know, life-saving moments for a lot of folks. Yeah, and this half hour is dedicated to year. We have much more right now with Gina and Sala. Okay. That's right. Through the decades, listen, many of us have relied on Margaret heavily to plan our day, our weekend, and all of our events. And Margaret is such an expert in what she does that organizers of major sporting and entertainment events, they put their trust in her forecasts. She comes into people's homes, but she comes into people's homes with a personal sort of connection, delivering the, the information that people need about the weather, particularly when there's a storm, when there's a hurricane. You know, Margaret's going to take you and hold you and walk you through and be there for I don't know how many hours, night, night and day, night and day. So she's absolutely an icon of New Orleans, for sure. 
An icon mm. for sure. Uh, that was Quentin Davis, the producer of the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. Every year, organizers are kept on their toes because of the potential for severe weather. And Margaret, anything you would like to say to Quint? Um, oh, I love Quint Davis. I he mean, loves you too. <laughs> he, you know, what an amazing festival he has helped build. I know lots of people are involved in it now, but it's that's one of the things I want to do now that I'm going to be off. <laughs> I'm going to see John Baptiste. I'm going to go see the Rolling Stones. I cannot wait. Uh, Rock and Doopsy said, come on over. You can come on my stage. So I'm going to Jazz Fest. Yeah, Beach Boys also. I and, know. And I remember seeing you out there at Jazz Fest every year for the festivals and just I sharing the it. food and entertainment and just, you know, and you told me that. You said, you have a megaphone, Sella, so promote all the festivals and activities exactly. in town. Exa and I mean, the best food, right? <laughs> yeah, we and love this it. time, you're not going to be working. No, so, yeah. I'm not. I'm going to be eating. chilling. Yes. I'm going to, well, you know, sometimes it's hot. It yeah, okay. Us, <laughs> sometimes it's, it's, so that's when you go through the misters, and I'm not going to have to worry about my hair. I'm not going to be on the air, so it's just going to curl and do whatever it wants to do. Amen. Amen. Listen, continuing with the motif of people relying on you because of your expertise, we couldn't do a special without hearing from another trailblazing New Orleans icon. Yeah, we're talking about none other than Mrs. Gail Benson. Take a listen. You know, you can tell Margaret really cares. She's an emotional professional vested in her community and in the viewer that is home listening to her to make a decision on how to react to weather and what the situation will be that day. You know, the weather is important in all our lives and she brings the passion and her talent and that's the reason there's so much love for her in our community. You know, Margaret is a larger-than-life icon in a city full of icons. That does not happen without love, care, passion, and dedication to the community. Plus, she does it with a very fun and carefree appreciation, and I really admire and I love that about her. So, you know, you've reached a certain level when you get a message like that from Mrs. Gail Benson, the one and only Mrs. Gail Benson. I know, but I think she said it succinctly, an icon among icons. Margaret, oh. uh, you know, you and Mrs. Benson are actually friends. You know each other beyond the professional world. Well, we do. Um, I knew her way back when, before she met uh, Mr. Tom Benson, and they got married, and she was always very sweet to me, and I, I kind of fell in love with her. I actually gave her one of my little paintings. Paintings. Honey, they are not great. I'm just saying. No, <laughs> they are. I've seen your paintings. They're beautiful. And now you have more time to do that, too. I am. I'm going to be painting. But I did one way back when of hugs and kisses from God. That's what it was mainly X's and O's, okay? My granddaughter <laughs> could do it. Well, classy Margaret Orr and classy Miss Gail Benson. Oh, that I was just her. a beautiful message from her. And from Margaret the lifesaver to Margaret the expert. Next, we take a look at the countless ways Margaret has touched the hearts of many, many people in the community. And you may know her as Margaret, but for a select few, she is my Meg. The lucky folks will be seeing a lot more of Margaret in her next chapter. Hi, Margaret. Congratulations on an incredible 45 years at WDSU. She's an amazing human being on behalf of all of us. Margaret, we're wishing you a happy retirement. Enjoy.